Hi, I created this tutorial as a corresponding video to the one about Northern Lights painting process. In this video, I'd like to show you how I painted Northern Lights in this painting. This tutorial is suitable for Photoshop users. I'll start from saying that you can download the two brushes I'll be using today. They are essential for this tutorial. Download link is in the description. Ok, so I already have a basic color palette prepared, as well as some basic guideline for the first light display. You might want to add vertical guidelines as well, note how in this case they are slightly leaning towards the center of the baseline. For colors and shapes, I recommend you go find yourself a reference photo, because Northern Lights come in different shapes and colors. Change the opacity of your guideline and create a new layer on top. Now choose a brush called Light Beam 2. It is an angled brush by default, so now you need to adjust it so that it paints more vertically. For that, you need to tweak this wheel you can find under brush section in top left corner. Move it until the brush is facing the right direction. It has to be the same as your vertical guidelines. If you use old version of Photoshop and don't have this brush rotation option, then you'll have to paint it at an angle and then adjust the finished layer so that it's placed in the right position. You now have to gently paint some lines of different lengths going upwards. Start painting the main shape with the green color, then add blue just above the green strokes. Finish with the brightest color and add it just in the middle, brush strokes have to be much shorter. Now the editing part. You won't need your guideline layer anymore, so you can either delete it or make it invisible. Now let's edit our first light display. Go to Filter in top menu, click Blur and then go to Gaussian Blur. Set the value to about 9.6 and hit OK. Next with the same layer, go to again Filter, then Blur and now click Motion Blur. This type of blur has a little wheel which shows the angle of the motion. You want to make sure the line inside the wheel is parallel to the lines you were just painting. You can then set the value to about 56 and hit OK. Go to the layers window and duplicate the current layer by clicking right button on your mouse and click Duplicate layer from the pop-up menu. Now click the layer underneath. Remember, not the one on top, but the one that is hiding behind. With this layer active, go to Filter in top menu, click Blur, then Gaussian Blur, set the value to about 64, press OK. Now go to the duplicated layer, the one that's on top. In the layer window, just above the layers, you have the opacity option. Set it to about 64% for this layer. Now you need to clean the shape of this first aurora you just painted, and you will do this on the bottom layer. For that, Use big soft brush, which you can find in Photoshop's default brushes, and start cleaning the bottom part. You can probably see it in photos, but Northern Lights are generally a bit flatter on the bottom and then they have a very irregular shape on top. That being said, don't make the bottom line straight, note how I'm trying to make it a bit wavy. I'm also erasing a bit of color from top to make the irregular shape more prominent. One of the final steps, 
is to create a third layer, it has to be placed under the two previous layers. Now change your brush to Big Softy. Use Color Picker tool from the menu on the left and pick the blue shade that was used to paint the top part. With this color, add a few gentle brush strokes to extend streaks of light a bit more and change the brush's opacity to about 65%. You can do this in the top menu. The final step is to merge these three layers you created into one. For that, hold the control button on a keyboard and with your mouse select all three layers, then hit Ctrl plus E to merge selected layers. At the end, using basic soft brush, erase more color to make this shape more, even more irregular. Again guys, reference photos please. You see, I painted this one from memory and I think it would be much easier with a reference. And here is my finished shape. Uh, I can now go and create some more in different directions. I hope this tutorial was somewhat helpful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Also, remember to check out the full painting process video for this illustration. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.